Hello and welcome to One Cool Thing, PC Mag's daily show where we show you one cool thing which we are testing out here in the PC Mag Labs. I'm Sasha Segan, this is Matt Buzzy. Now if you are following us live on Facebook, uh, please, well, first of all, come in. You're probably not following us yet because it takes like two to three minutes for the Facebook audience to ramp up. But if you came in early, then you will know to uh, make comments, ask questions. Social Pete here will be here to uh, take your comments and questions and start a dialogue. If you are following us later on YouTube, please like and subscribe. We have a new one cool thing every day and often it's a different kind of thing. Now, relatively often when we have talked about desktop laptops all-in-ones on this show, our uh, readers, viewers, watchers have said, will it game? And often we say tragically no, but today we say yes. Today is not we that say day. yes today. Emphatic today yes. Today is a day for yes. It is for the Falcon Northwest TLX, uh, which is a gaming laptop. It's a right gaming Matt? laptop. It's going to play games, Sasha. Okay. Duh. Easy. Um, yeah, this is Falcon Northwest boutique PC manufacturer, makers of of nice desktops and laptops. Uh, custom automotive paint jobs is one of their calling cards. So th this is what here. the Falcon Northwest TLX here. has in common with the Acura TLX. Yes, you say. a nice yeah. automotive paint. Yes. Um, yes, you can do this any color you want. Um, by default, they let you pick a color. Uh -huh. You do it on. You can pay even more for like the cloudy metallic uh, mm -hmm. thing or like the flame pattern. You can get like seething razor green if you want to confuse people. Sure, really, yeah. really make really make problems. Um, you can put whatever like custom image as the lid if you want or logo. Uh -huh. So. So that's uh, that's one of the eye-catching uh, features. Other than that, a very nice, competent uh, HD gaming system, uh, okay. and it's very nicely built. So we have a so so, so we have a 1080p screen. Mm -hmm. uh, how big is the screen diagonal? 15.6 inch screen. Mm -hmm. um, there's some bezel. There's definitely some bezel, but it's um, it's NVIDIA Max Q. So this is a thin and light laptop. If you're unfamiliar with Max Q, uh, what that is is a sort of initiative NVIDIA is launching along launched alongside manufacturers to work on getting gaming laptops thinner and lighter, because traditionally, you know, they're enormous. And so now this is a Max-Q 1070. Yes, it's a GTX Max-Q 1070 inside, which is means... Is that different from a desktop 1070? Yes, it's different from the full power, regular, even laptop 1070. Um, what that means is it has a power ceiling, it has a performance ceiling, that's to keep the heat down, that's to keep the uh, amount of cooling you need down to the thermals, you need fewer thermals, you need less, you know, fan and, and room for cooling, so mm -hmm. your laptop can be thinner, but obviously if the, if the ceiling is, uh, is tuned down, so is the performance. So you don't get as powerful a card, but you do get a good enough card for the 1080p screen. And now we will get to the gaming performance in a minute when mm -hmm. we get to the benchmarks over there, but uh, let's step through some of the other basic specs, processor, storage, memory, those things. Yeah, run the gamut. So it starts at, uh, this starts at $2,200. This is configured as 2,375 as, as tested. What that gets you is the GTX 1070. Um, the Core i7-7700 uh, processor, which is just before Coffee Lake, but they are actually launching a coffee, this with a Coffee Lake processor and a 100, 120 hertz screen in a couple weeks, so that will be available if you want to hold that for that instead. Um, 16 gigs of RAM, a 512 gigabyte SSD, which is not like a ton of room for games, um, but yeah, you keep your favorites on there, mm -hmm. you know, whatever, you want to install things that you're not using, and you'll be fine. Uh, it's SSD, so it's, it's super speedy. Mm -hmm. um, it weighs 4.75 pounds, so, Light and thin, they achieved their goal in that regard. Now, uh, now I want to talk about I want to talk about what's on the edge here, which is what I find to be for a laptop a comical number of display outs. Could, I mean, there's there's yeah. video options for days. There's an HDMI and two mini display ports. Mm. Yeah, so all the screens. Can you connect three other monitors to this? I don't know where it maxes out, but I yeah, I think okay. so. Okay, <laughs> you just Line surround yourself with yeah. images. This is my control center. Okay. Um, yeah, so what else is over there? Is now, that, is that, did you get yeah, them all? Yeah, so we, we've got... We've there got, there are a lot of ports, it's yeah, kind of funny. So we've got, we've got an HDMI, we've got two, uh, two main display ports, we've got two USB-Cs, which are not, not Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt, but we've got a ton of main display ports, so who cares? Uh, and uh, two USB-3s. Yep, and then yep. this side, we've got another USB and an Ethernet jack and an SD card slot. Yeah, a real honest-to-goodness Ethernet jack, because this is going to land. It's true. Yes. It's extremely now, true. Um, so gamers don't generally necessarily use the built in keyboard and trackpad, but how are the built-in uh, keyboard They're trackpad? good. This is sturdy. They went for the sort of like touch surface where this doesn't click in, which I kind of prefer because those mm -hmm. kind of feel, those can feel cheap sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, they went for some dedicated buttons here, which are mm -hmm. perfectly fine. The keyboard is pretty good. Um, is they this, did, is they, this customizable lighting? It is customizable lighting, but out of the box, they set it to a nice blue that matched the lid, which is less, I guess, small little touch I appreciate. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you could have done it yourself, but 
it's kind of appealing when you first open it. Gives you that wow factor when you first spent a lot of money on a laptop. You're like, oh, that's thoughtful. Is it single color lighting or can you do crazy lighting um, tricks? I actually forget because I haven't touched it in a bit. I think it's zonal. Uh huh. Um, so yeah, and the speakers are also solid enough. Um, you know, not booming sound system, but like a mouse and keyboard for gamers. Gamers also often use headsets. Yeah, yeah. So. My my favorite dumb gamer lighting trick is when the um, is when the uh, keyboard lighting matches your health bar. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, you gotta respect that, is, that. That is my favorite. That's a good one. Yeah, uh, for sure. Yeah. So um, onto the performance. So with the 16 gigs of RAM, with the uh, GTX 1070 Max Q version, um, you still get well over 60 frames per second for Let's gaming. Let's go to the numbers. There's a chart. There's yes. a chart to show. We have you. a chart. We have a chart. So let us go to the numbers. To for said chart. Not this chart, Next the other chart. 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 That chart! Yeah. Okay, so what we have here is, uh, well, let's talk us through this. Talk us through the chart. Okay, so what we got in the chart, uh, we have some comp similar competition, either with uh, uh, Max Q uh, 1080, so you can see the difference, or the normal 1070, or the, uh, like the Origin PC uh, is another Max Q 1070, just so you can mm -hmm. kind of compare. The numbers are extremely similar. Uh, between those two. Um, you see on the ultra quality uh, Heaven and Valley, that's really where you want to look because that means it's 1080p. It's ultra quality settings, which is what you want to be running. Uh, 87 and 85 frames per second on those, so that's well over 60. And yes, it's at 1080p, but the screen doesn't go beyond 1080p. Right. You don't have to worry about, oh, what if I was running it at, at QHD or 4K? If you're 4K, saying this is a 1080p 60 screen, mm -hmm. right? So anything over 60 at 1080p is wasted. Right. Um, yeah. So that means you have headroom for games that are most demanding, because there are obviously more games that will push it harder than others. Mm -hmm. uh, so that gives you some headroom for that. If you, in the future, have to tune down a couple graphic settings, sure. But even the Max-Q version of the, uh, of the 1070 is, is more than capable of 60 frames per second. And of course, this is also VR capable easily. Yes. Yeah. Uh, is there any uh, expandability? Um, Can anything be changed in here after what, After order? I don't, I don't actually think so. Um, as far as I know, no. Um, you can figure it when you order. Like, there's a million, there's a million options to customize as you order. I also think okay. you can send it back to them for, for maintenance. And can you go up and down you. both in terms of processor and graphics card? Um, I don't remember if this comes in a in a 1080 or not. Uh, I don't think so. I think it's designed for the 1070, okay. but I could be wrong about that. We have some questions already. Price-wise, how does this stack up with the competitor? Um, so if you do like the fancy paint job, that's where you're gonna like add more money in. But if you do the default paint job, you're not adding any money. Like I'm sure that's I'm sure that's factored into the cost a bit. But uh, it's you know you can get like a $300 extra paint job on top mm -hmm. of the one they, they give you by default. So if you just don't touch that, you're pretty you're pretty much in the $2,000 ballpark. The um, Origin PC Evo uh, 15s, which is our editor's choice in this, and it really was neck and neck with this. Neck and neck with this, um, it comes down to preference. Uh, that unit we reviewed at a little more storage. It's almost the same price. There are a couple hundred dollars apart. Um, when you're spending this much on a gaming mm -hmm. system, that's a little bit negligible, depending what you what you actually want uh, in your from your from your laptop. Now, thin and light, this kind of performance, I feel like what we're going to lose out on here is battery, right? It, yeah, and its battery is actually normally that would be the trick. Five hours is not the worst thing in the world, as you see in that chart. That's that's on the higher end. Yeah. Um, the Alienware 15 that has a higher uh, a higher a longer battery life, rather. But not is, that much. Yeah, it's it's a, and it's a much bigger laptop. It's yeah. A thick and heavy laptop. And those those other and those other gaming laptops that we're looking at uh, the the Predator Triton 700 and the Ro and the yeah. Rogs of Pyrus, they're awful. Those are two of the other big Max Q laptops. Wow, they're, they're bad. Yeah, those are really 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 short batteries. Um, the, yeah, only only thin and light thing that really stacks up is the Razer Blade, which has much longer battery life. Mm -hmm. uh, you can get seven mm -hmm. to like ten hours on those things. And but. then when we're talking about, and also like frankly, when we're talking about five hours, that's in a video rundown. That's not even gaming, right? Right. And but yeah. you're also yeah, you're not going to want to play games off the charger either for a long time. Uh, you get diminished performance. Um, it kills your battery super fast. So. And the battery will last two and a half hours. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, you're probably going to if you're going to be using. Off the charger, even though it's your gaming laptop, it's obviously good at other things. It has a Core i7 processor, it has 16 gigs of RAM, it can do other things, um, and it's thin and light, so you can actually yeah. take it with you. you. Get five hours of battery life. What's that's the not power bad. brick like? Um, it's not too bad. It's 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 not a it's not a big okay. It's not a, it's not a big like yeah. two pounder. No, it's one of those one of those okay. medium width ones. It's pretty good. Let's take another question. Can it run Crisis? Of course. Mm -hmm. Finally, we're at the point where the yes. answer is, is usually yes, not yes. no. Um, so long it was no. What else can it run? Um, it can run uh, this benchmark. Mm -hmm. Great, beautiful, as you saw on the chart. Um, Witcher 3 I used to test. Um, yeah, we have a suite of benchmarks. You can see all in there about what, what it runs and, and what those mm -hmm. are good for. Um, but yeah, I played Witcher 3 just to check the frame rate and what have you. And yeah, it, it's a demanding game and it looks great. Uh, but at 1080p, which is why well, you don't have to worry about it mm -hmm. at, in HD, it's fine. 60 frames is, is doable. Now this camera up here, by the way, is that Windows Hello capable? Um, oh, good question. I don't remember. I want to okay. say yes. Okay. 
Let's take another question. So you said it's the origin Evo is our editor's choice in this. Yes. Category. Is it is it two different? Like, is there an affordable gaming laptop editor's choice and then like a high end one? Um. Yeah. I, um. Which right now, off the top of my head, don't remember what it is. But yeah, we have. You can look it on site. Um, I feel like two thousand dollars is the down. affordable gaming laptop. Is the affordable gaming laptop? That's yeah. that's obviously on the higher end. Um. And it's it's sort of you want to compare these to other thin and light ones also, not mm -hmm. just the behemoths like the 17-inch Alienware. Say yeah. that's yes, also more expensive, but also so enormous that two different people are probably looking at that in this. Um, yeah, so they're they're we've broken down by price. There's entry level, which you can get nice nine hundred thousand uh, dollar, um, even eight hundred sometimes uh, gaming laptops. Mm. They usually come with a 1060, uh, but they still have HD screens for the most part. Um, the there's a Dell Inspiron gaming one that's good for that. There's um, there's, there's actually a lot in, in that price range, um, which is like a whole thousand plus dollars less than this. Um, and then there's a there's a there's a missing middle ground, I think, between um, fourteen and eighteen hundred dollars mm -hmm. that that different manufacturers are trying to hit, which is really like a mid range gaming laptop. Um, once you hit two thousand plus, I mean, yeah, you're you're definitely in the higher end. Um, but this is specifically looking at in the price tier of expensive things. That's what we're comparing it to. Most of those are actually more expensive than this. Uh, the the uh, Acer's Predator Triton 700, the Acer's Max View laptop, is like three thousand dollars. So it's 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 a lot more expensive. The, the Asus ROG uh, Zephyrus is up there also. I think it's like twenty seven hundred. So this is actually on the lower end for, uh, but that does give you a, a GTX ten eighty, not a ten seventy. So we have another question. Is there a headphone jack? There is. Yes, over here there's two the headphone mic jack. Mm -hmm. um, they've not gone the way of Apple, despite the thin build. Presumably all, you also have Bluetooth in here. Yes, mm -hmm. that is correct. And another one. Uh, I'm assuming this would be good for content creation and streaming as well. Yeah, um, definitely. It's definitely capable. You get Core i7. Um, no, it's not Coffee Lake, but again, a couple weeks back if you want. Because mm. Coffee Lake, more cores, it's better for uh, multi-threaded tasks. So if you actually are a content creator, you want to churn Yeah, through. I mean, I think the only issue from a content creation perspective is if you want a higher resolution screen than that 1080p. Mm -hmm. And because 16 gigs of RAM maybe not might not be enough for you. Yeah. Um, I know, you know, video people often are like, give me 32 or, or bust more, yeah, 64, yeah. a video guy saying more. Okay. But uh, but but I think especially like what would what would be the deal breaker for me here actually would be the 1080p, mm -hmm. the big relatively low density 1080p screen, and like a lot of games are by default to 1080p, a lot of video content. Uh, when you're when you're consuming it by default is a 1080p, mm -hmm. but often you want to be working on a 1080p thing and have other things around it right. while you're creating it, and that's why that's why I, for instance, want a higher resolution display on my laptop. Yeah, but I'm not playing any games, right. so there you go. Yeah, there's yeah. definitely definitely different uh, different roles for different people um, depending on what you need. Like if you're if you're a hobbyist doing some media on the side, it's probably good enough for you. If your mm -hmm. main purpose is, is playing games, um, not that all Falcon Northwest systems are for gaming, mind you, they do they do build builds that people. Used to show off uh, VR, which obviously you can use for gaming, but in general, just mm -hmm. something powerful and fast that can run. They have workstation type things, right. um, so it's not always for gaming. Um, this one, you know, certainly mm -hmm. good at it. Uh, when you have that good of a discrete graphics card, that's going to be one of the first things you think of is, is gaming. But Let's there's see. people out there who need to animate, need to model, uh, engineers, you know, yep. CAD, all this stuff needs to run on systems like this, and Falcon Northwest I know provides those for those reasons. So, uh, Buzzy, what system do you personally use for gaming? Uh, I built my own desktop. Um, I was using an ASUS ROG laptop for a few years until I built um, until I built my own desktop. Uh, I have two NVIDIA GTX 980 Ti's in there. I feel like maybe I could upgrade to a 10 series one, but like don't really need to. I'm only playing QHD, not like 4K, which I don't know. Um, it, yes, SLI is annoying. Like SLI complications are annoying. So ideally, I'd have a, a, a higher a uh, single card, a 10 series, but a 1080 Ti. What with the crypto mining, it's just a really bad time to buy one. So uh, I came, I fell into a second 980 Ti and I just kept it, because okay. why not? And we do, we have a feature up right now, it might be on extremetech.com, about uh, the value of and using older graphics cards, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I thought I thought that was an interesting piece. Is that on PC Mag or Extreme Tech? I think Extreme Tech. Extreme Tech, actually. I want to say. Yeah, yeah, that's a good story. One of our beloved ZD properties here. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so the uh, so the Falcon Northwest TLX, uh, we like it. We like it a lot. It's a de it's a situation where there are a lot of systems. Mm -hmm. that compete with this very closely. Yes. It's a neck and neck horse race. It gets four stars. It doesn't get the editor's choice just by just luck the of the cards. Slimmest, yeah, slimmest margin. I think I like the maybe the, the feel and sturdiness of the um, 
of the origin, not that this isn't sturdy, but I like the feel of the origin laptop a little more. Um, it has it had a it has an SSD and it had two terabytes of storage. Mm -hmm. This just has the 512 SSD, um, so that was kind of something. And yes, you can configure all these things, but this just our as we review them, looking at the two price points, it is yeah. neck and neck. They're both four stars. They're both excellent. Um, gorgeous, so, yeah, yeah, gorgeous high quality two thousand dollar plus gaming laptop. Great for your 1080p gaming needs. Uh, thank you all for watching. This has been one cool thing. Uh, if you're on Facebook, please rejoin us at 10 a.m. Eastern tomorrow. We will have another cool thing. If you are on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Check back at uh, PC Mag's channel anytime. And every day, every weekday at least, we will have another cool thing for you.